All right, everybody. Hey, welcome back to another Nerd Corner Hello. for uh, Wednesday, I guess. We missed yesterday. Super busy day. We just Sorry. didn't really have time. So, But yeah, so today we're going to talk about cosplay um, for Comic-Con. Of course, uh, Road to Comic-Con for this Nerd Corner this week. And uh, Kevin here is actually cosplay two years in a row, right? This is your second year. Last year wasn't uh, full, but this year you're going, you got a full outfit. Uh, the only thing I'm missing is the jacket. Right, uh, him and his family. I mean, they're all they're all going as uh, well I'm, I'm, special I'm, characters. You'll see. You'll see later. We're not going to spoil that right now. But yeah, uh, they are. They're going full family cosplay and uh, full family. All of them same type of uh, right, genre. same genre yeah. same, from the same from the same universe, I guess. Now I'm gonna have a little mini me version of myself. Right, mm -hmm. my his son. little son. Yep. So yeah, he's gonna be a little version of him, and then. Um, your wife just made your daughter an outfit, yep. which is she, crazy. It's weird because like the stuff I got is just like shirts and things that go along with the character. Same thing with my wife. My wife just got a dress that was pre-made, and then my daughter decided she wanted to also dress up the same that we did, and so she actually my wife yesterday took like seven, eight hours and made her a dress that fit the genre and had like a headpiece that goes along with it. And also, it was really cool. Yeah, um, looks good. Shout out to Saya. She did really great on it. Which really job, cool. Saya. So. It does look really good. I saw it uh, this morning. She's still finishing it actually today. So, oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Dolly showed me a photo of it, and then on on the book, and then you showed me something yep. this morning. So, yeah, it looks really cool. So that's really awesome. And she did that herself, which is cool. This is something that every cosplayer should be able to do, and I kind of it. yeah, kind of is like the purpose of cosplay is to make your own costumes. But um, I guess I don't really know this statistics but i'd assume that it's about 50 50 of people who just go out and buy a costume from somebody like right. there's somebody who cosplays right and then they probably sell stuff that they make for a business which would be logical and then you know of course mark it up like crazy and then they make right. profit and they can go buy their own really awesome outfit so um yeah i'm one of the people that would buy one but i i haven't cosplayed yet um we thought about it we talked about it a lot last year we talked about doing like a group yeah stuff about all went as yep. one type of character or... Right. Um, we all have shows that we really like and one in particular and all of our friends that um, has multiple uh, uh, like iterations of the same character, if you will. If, I mean, if you know what we're talking about, <laughs> you know, you understand. But, I'm going one of those iterations. <laughs> right. And so uh, we all have one that is our favorite and uh, we're all going to just dress up as them. But that kind of fell through the wayside because half the people, uh, me and our ginger friend, uh, don't have costumes. So... That's a little strange. Did did Topher get his costume for the for ten? Um, yeah, uh, he he went last year as it. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Um, but we all have you know our um, defining little characteristic thing, our little uh, you know toy, I guess if you will. And then um, yeah, so we're we're ready to do it. We just need to. Everyone needs to get a costume for it. And um, yeah, and then last year, let's see, let's talk about some of the people we saw at Comic Con. We saw a really awesome Joker and Harlequin from yeah. a Joker from, like, Heath Ledger's Joker, Heath Ledger's Joker, and a Harlequin from something else. Like, she wasn't from the new movie because that was, you know, way before that even decided to come out. Um, I, I remember my favorite one last year I saw was, and I saw them all three days, and I, props to you guys if you guys are watching. Um, but giant mech suits. Like oh, my gosh, giant, yeah. They were on stilts. People on stilts. Like crazy. Like, like 10, ten foot still, just crazy. crazy tall. Really oh awesome. Oh my though. gosh! By, at, by day three, you see them like just laying down. Yeah. Just pouring sweat. Pouring with sweat. Their masks off. Oh just, my gosh! So I think tired. one of them was like um like a predator, and another one was like a like a not well, a transformer, but predators a, were from the first year we went. They had like oh that's they had right. They had like metal like, stilts, yeah. and they were legit. But, but this the, the last year we went was like, like crate Attack papers, on Titan. Attack on Titan. That's what it was. Attack on Titan is what it was. Yes, that was really that was really really cool, and they were really nice guys. They were they were behind us in line the first day. Which was really cool. Um, yeah, you guys probably can't reach it because it's Snapchat or whatever, but I snapped last year's events a lot, and so that was really fun. We'll be doing that again, too, so follow us on social media. You don't have Snapchat anymore, do you? I do. Yeah, you do. Okay, I'll put our Snapchat down below. Much. Um, and follow us on Snapchat, and then you know you can see our live events there. Uh, we'll, I'll also be vlogging because it's going to be on the weekend, so it'll be part of the weekend vlog, but you can get more stuff from Snapchat, so that'll be really cool. I might just add the Snapchat into the vlog. I'm not really sure. Um, let's see. Who did we see? Wolverine was really awesome. We saw Wolverine oh, yeah. last year. That was just super basically a guy easy. Without a shirt off. Rip dude without a shirt with fucking. He just bought them there. Like the they're just like knuckle like um yeah like the what are they called brass knuckles with just blades on the top of them and he's just like really buff guy. So that was really interesting. Bo both years we've gone so far, we've seen uh, 
full Power Ranger teams. Yes. Like, oh my gosh, we saw Ranger, one Red guy. Ranger, all the Rangers. Yeah, who really was awesome. who came as multiple Rangers multiple days. Right. There was a dude who came as uh, the Green Ranger for meeting um, Jason David Frank, of course, and then uh, JDF, and then. Um, he came as the Black Ranger the next day, and I think he was a Red Ranger at one point, and there was like a bunch of Red Rangers. And this guy was not in shape at all. But that's the best part about cosplay is you don't have to necessarily it's it's like a your interpretation. Right. It's is, your interpretation of your character. You really like the character. The character I'm playing is not as heavy as I am. No. But I'm gonna go as it because I love him. Yeah, but you lost a lot of weight, so you're kinda you're closer anyway. Um but yeah, so that's really great. And so that's a fun outlet for people who want to be really creative and dress up and and, and it's a fun outlet because you don't get, like, put down. You know, you can right. come in your wizard costume and be just fucking, I'm a wizard, and everyone will be like, yeah, you are. Good job. You yeah, know? I, I really love the fact about nerds. You know, now they're more norm than anything. But, we talked about that yesterday. Yeah. You know? um, the fact that nerds now, that nerds, they'll, it doesn't matter who you are, what you're into, whatever you like. I might not like a character, but I'm going to give them props that they did or they tried, even if it's right. a crappy version of it. Like, True. hey, you did really good. You tried. Like, you know, here's some tips or whatever for next year. Or right. You give people tips. You talk to them about it. You take pictures of people. We walked up to a bunch of people the first, the second year. Yeah, tough. Yeah. We had a bunch of Avatar characters yep. last year. We just we went around and just took pictures. We were like, hey, can I take a picture with you? And anybody who's in cosplay wants to take a picture. Yeah. That's kind of the point. So it's like they don't care and they're not going to shun you because, oh, you're weird. And We even took pictures of people who weren't actually cosplaying. Like there was a girl in a dress that right. was just like a like a character dress, kind of like the one that your wife has except it's yep. like the full the full box. Right. And uh, yeah, we just walked up to her and we're like, we really like your outfit. Can we take a picture? She was like, yeah, she was of course. really cool too. She was very nice. Uh, the next day she came back in like a shirt and like right. a t-shirt and jeans or whatever, but we chatted with her the next day, which was really nice. And you just meet a lot of really interesting, fun people because someone who's willing to do that is open enough to like want to talk to people. Right. You don't, unless you're wearing like a stormtrooper outfit or something with like a mask that you don't really talk through, you're not going to be like antisocial, you know? And even those people will take pictures. So that's really awesome because those pictures are free and I don't have to pay $50 to have some asshole William Shatner, like, shit in my face, basically. <laughs> so, and that's actually $70, let's be honest. Um, uh, something that uh, we saw last year, which I wasn't into at the time, so I was like, eh, she's just a really cute chick, but uh, was Daenerys. Oh, we my gosh. We saw a lot of Daenerys last year. So two years in a row, actually. We saw this... I saw the same girl two years in a row. So year one we saw her, and I was like, oh, my God, that's so cool, because I know who she is. I read the books, and, of course, I watched the show before this schmuck did. And uh, it was like, oh, my gosh, that's so cool. She had the dragon eggs, and she had the white hair. Like, I think she actually dyed her hair. I don't think it was a wig. And she was wearing, like, the um, like the Dothraki Khaleesi outfit, right, where it's, like, basically, you know, rucksacks. <laughs> really nice. um, and she was really cool. And then the next year she came back as the same thing, but she also had multiple days. So she had like the... She like changed her outfit. Right. She had like yeah. the Queen Khaleesi um, outfit with like the white and the blue and her hair down again. And then she... Um, I think she did the heart one too where she was like eating the heart. So she was all like blood covered or whatever. So that was really cool. We've seen a lot of those too. No one's done a dragon yet. I have not seen a dragon. I haven't seen, I haven't seen like a Khaleesi with walking around with like a dragon. That'd be really cool that'd for be, a hot That'd mom. be sick. Like dress up as like Khaleesi and then have your kid walk around as your baby it's dragon. It's a baby dragon. That'd be so <laughs> awesome. Little baby Drogon walking around. Um, yeah. Some really cool ones. Uh, I saw a bunch of Black Widows last year. Like a bunch of different types of Black Widows. Just basically like people in spandex suits. Um, Gambit was a big one last yep. year too. A lot of X-Men last year. And I guess I don't know if that was like hoping that they'd be in this year's x-men or whatever but um yeah a lot of characters from sh movies that we haven't even you know ha characters haven't been on screen in 20 years or something like that and sometimes you walk around and when you see them you're like i i don't know who you are but you look really cool and then right. you can ask them you're like hey what do you plan as what are you dressing up as and they'll tell you and again with that whole like social nerdism yeah and we were talking awesome. about it yesterday with some of the people in here you know liz and and jen and bit we were having a little fight about how um, you know, nerd is the new norm. Um, a lot of people, you know, we were talking, because we are talking about E3. E3 is going on right now. Actually, it just ended yesterday, I think. Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think it ended yesterday. But you can still watch all of them. Go to E3, Check them out. watch them out. Yeah. New games, IGN new is where awesome I've been stuff. watching mine, so that's been really awesome. But we were talking about video games and how uh, 10 years ago, there was only like 300,000 people, active players of video games. And that was a huge number for us. Like, right. we were like, oh my gosh, 300,000 so people. people. That's a lot of a lot of players around the world and uh, cut to now to, to today 2.1 billion 
billion people, 2.1 billion people play video games. That's m like almost half of the world is playing video games now. So, you know, nerds are the new norm. And uh, I heard a statistic the other yesterday that there isn't a star or um, like creator of a Marvel movie or cinematic universe that doesn't play video games. That's really awesome. Really interesting stuff. So, you know, um, nerd is the new norm, which is really great, and it's allowing us well, we're in a great time right now because we get to see all the things we've ever wanted but, when we were but kids. But it's also come to so life. weird because, like, my nephew Nick, he he's seventeen, he's in high school, he's a nerd. And for me and Chase, when we were in high school, it was completely different. Yeah. Now he like hangs out with like the popular kids, and I'm like, but you're a nerd, and he's like, right, but so are they, and I'm like, that's not true. They can't happen because that doesn't happen in high school. For us, it didn't. Right. But we, we were Like, in the our generation. jocks were jocks. Like, right. they would beat the shit out of you if you were talking but, about, like, Superman. But our generation kind of built up the nerds so that people were okay with being nerds now. Right. And, and not necessarily just our generation. We were lucky right, enough right. to be, like, part of the generation where, like, Iron Man 1 came out, you know? And that's what really started it all off. Um, you know, the X-Men movies too, but some of those were flops and people, you know, there was a lot of one-offs like that, the old Batman movies and things like that, but nothing as big as it is now. I mean, we have all these huge cinematic universes, Marvel Cinematic Universe, DC Cinematic Universe, I don't know if they call it that or whatever, but we have these huge worlds on screen and then we also have these crazy big worlds on television. I mean, Smallville is what really kind of started it off on CW of having that superhero show. But see, yeah, it started off with that, but then if you look back on it, I wonder if you look at the number of people who actually watched the show when it was on versus who've gone back and have actually, like, watched it now. Right. Like, the crazy number of millions and millions of people. Fucking crazy, <laughs> crazy millions of people that are watching it every day now, every week that they're watching Flash and they're watching Arrow and all that kind of stuff. But you go back then, I don't know, I don't even think it'd be a million that were watching it back then. Not but it went ten years because they right. had such a great Because it was, even back then, it was like, yeah, we, we have, you know... 100,000 people watching us, and now it's like Flash is in the millions, you know? Right. Millions of people watch Flash, and so uh, and Arrow, and Legends of Tomorrow, and Supergirl, Supergirl. and so excited and Gotham, and real. everything. I mean, hey, me too. Yeah, the Tom Welling thing. It's pretty yeah. exciting. Anyways, um, so yeah, so, I mean, we were part of the generation that got to kind of usher this in, but it was worth, I mean, it's on the back of all the nerds before us. I mean, if you even go back to Revenge of the Nerds, uh, that, you know, the movie back in the 80s, that really you know, socialized nerds for people. It allowed it, it made them understand that even nerds could have friends exactly. amongst other nerds. And and that we all like the same thing, like panty raids. So, you know, it's really great. Um, so yeah, that's a little bit about cosplay. Not a little bit, a, a long bit about cosplay and what we're going to be doing over at uh, Comic-Con tomorrow. No, day Friday. after tomorrow. Friday. Friday, um, Saturday, Sunday. So excited. Yes. If you're in the Sacramento area, you can still buy tickets. Go buy them. You're not gonna get, they're not going to get that till Friday, though. But still, on Friday, when on this Friday. airs, <laughs> buy tickets, come out and see us. We'll be there. Um, look for us. He'll be dressed up. I won't be. And we'll be having a lot of fun. So uh, thanks for watching, you guys, as always. And uh, enjoy. Bye. Bye.